welcome to Lady CEO G. I rock rough and tough with my Afro puffs. Hey, rock on with bad self. I think I'm rocking this all week. What's up? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to a chat with me, Lady CEO. All right, I'm still on the sofa. All right, today I want to talk about being confidently you. So many people tell me, I wish I was as confident as you. I wish I was full. I wish I was doing that. I wish I was doing that. And then I get asked, how do you do it? I just do it. Honestly. There is no magic potion, no certain thing, no certain way of doing you than being you completely. Growing up, I wasn't the best liked person. I talked a lot. As you can see, I talk a lot here. <laughs> but I was always different. I was always unique. Yeah, I get out there, I dance, whatever. But then I was in my books also because I loved education. And plus, my mom told me if they say they sent the man to the moon, go and investigate it. So I went and investigated and people didn't like me challenging them and investigating and wondering the whys of the world. So I was like, hmm, I'm this person and certain people don't like it. So I had to become okay with me. Being okay with you may not satisfy other people. Matter of fact, it may make them not like you more. Because you're not beating to the drum, to their drum. Because you're beating to your own drum and decides to own who you are. I always tell people, especially in dating, know who you are before you start dating. Because if you don't know who you are, how are you going to translate that to someone else and let them know who you are? How are they going to know? So, with that, some key things that I've learned. Now, in my 20s, I was owning who I was, but I felt that I wasn't um, completely confident because I still cared about what people thought. And to an extent, I care about what other people think because certain biz in business, because the type of business I do, brand management, my brand feeds off your brand. So I care about what other people do because I don't want to be associated with a brand that's that's portraying negativity and ignorance and drama. That's not the brands that I want to be affiliated with. So I, I'm 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 cautious of those things. But when someone is being authentically themselves, I'll be 39 hair coming up and I have afro puffs and some people will frown on that and be like why you got that in your hair why you got that lipstick on why you this y'all I have had people tell me you too big to be so confident I cared a little bit and then I said I'm comfortable being and doing what I'm doing so therefore I'm not gonna stop being and doing what I'm doing because I'm okay with me. So give yourself validation to be who you are. Nobody else can validate you like you. And trust me, everybody's trying to figure it out. Everybody's trying to figure it out. Nobody knows. Everybody has those days when they're not as confident. I know I do. Ask my best friend. Shout out to Nitra. And Sharona gets it too. Because I call and I cry on their shoulders. Because I'm not feeling as I wish I did. Or I feel like I'm having imposter syndrome. So, how do I get to be so confident? I just be me. 
And now that I'm approaching 40, I'm almost to the point that y'all don't pay my bills, so it don't matter what you think. So if I want to wear puffs and it's not hindering nobody and it's not going to mess up my brand, why can't I? If I want to smile all day and take selfies smiling all day, why do you have a problem with that? So you have to ask yourself, what's wrong with that person that have a problem with you being positive or being authentically yourself? Now, let me stop there. Sometimes being authentically ourselves are not, is not positive. And we have to grow out of those things. But no, people change and people grow. Because if people don't change and people don't grow, how did you grow and how did you change? We have to be mindful of that. We have to be mindful that, yes, they were that way before and give people another chance. Now, if you see them doing the same thing, okay, love them from afar and allow them to be who they are. Because when we allow other people to be who they are, they can flourish. Because we want people to allow us to be who we are, right? So, being confidently yourself is definitely just walking in it. No matter what, understanding that you're going that there's going to be some people that's going to fall from the wayside. You're going to have some people that's going to fall to the wayside. You're going to have some people that that are going to just be like, I don't like that or this, that. Cool. Bye. And allow them to. So the people that you need to come in can come in. Be okay with being by yourself. Start loving you. Start liking who you are. I had um, somebody had posted something on, in a group that I'm in. And it was like something that you like to do. I was like, I look at myself naked in the mirror. I know TMI. I'm not doing nothing, but I've learned to love my curves. Because at one time, I didn't love my curves. At one time, I didn't like these high cheekbones. And every time I smile, what is this? What is these high cheekbones and this thick hair? But now, I've learned to love those, to embrace those things. So, being confident is embracing who you are and understand, spending time with you. <clears throat> so, you can understand who you are and where you are in life. If you don't spend time with you, how can you want someone else to spend time with you? I say it all the time. I take myself to the movies. I take myself on vacation. I take myself um, out to eat. I chill by myself in my room. I can go to the park by myself. I am okay doing these things by myself. Because I love and I know and I appreciate who I am. So that's the first thing. Take everything that you feel like is flaws and look at it and own them. I had to look myself in the mirror and say, okay, these cheekbones, they ain't going nowhere. So you're just not going to like the smile. You're not going to like like it because you like the smile. These little teeth ain't going nowhere. I used to get teased for my little teeth. Now, so, because when you start feeling like so, you can talk about it. People talk about my hair color. So, I like it. That's all that matters. And I'm I'm quick. I I, I be I play to an audience of one. I play to an audience of one. So, thank you for your opinion. But I'm good. So being confidently who you are. Step out. Do what you like. Do what makes you happy. 
especially if it's positive. If it's not positive, let's talk about it. Let's think about it. Let's let's work through that thing. Let let's let's do that. But don't beat yourself up because of who you are. Own it. All right. So this has been Chat with Lady CEO, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's get social. This has been a Lady CEO production.